Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Physics 20, Kinematics 4, Part 3, Acceleration Calculations. Now, let's see if I can record this video and not erase it accidentally. So this is my favorite trick question. Question E. After traveling 125 meters, Bill sees a speed trap 40 meters ahead. He slams on the brakes and accelerates at minus 4 meters per second squared. Will he get a speeding ticket? V final. Uh, less than or greater than or equal to 50 kilometers an hour. Now, divide by 3.6, that's 13.9 meters a second, I believe. Yes. So, he has to be going less than 13.9 meters a second when he passes by the policeman. All right. Now, I want you to look at this carefully because it's actually a sneaky trick here. The sneaky trick is this is a two-parter. We have Bill as he's driving down the road. Here, he's leaving the parking lot. The initial, 5.0 meters a second. We don't know his V final. We know his acceleration is 1.5 meters per second squared. What else did I say? He travels 125 meters. And then what does he do? He hits his final velocity at a certain time. Now, the second part is driving down the road, and 40 meters ahead, he sees the camera, or the policeman with the radar gun. And he knows he's got this distance to slow down. So this is the second part of the question, the initial the final acceleration displacement time. Now, all we know in this part, he ex accelerates at minus 4.0 meters per second squared, and that's it. Oh, displacement is 40 meters. We want to know his final velocity here. To do that, we need his, either his time or his v-initial. The key here, and what makes this sneaky, is that his v-final here becomes his v-initial here. So we've got two separate parts of this, two separate calculations we have to do. In this first part, we have to figure out his v-final. Now, offhand, we don't have time, we don't need time, so that's v-final squared equals v-initial squared plus 2AD. So velocity final squared so 5 squared plus 1 plus oh god I hate doing this in my head so 5 squared is 25 So velocity final squared equals v initial squared, 5 squared, plus 2 times a times d. So he's got a distance of 125 meters. His acceleration is 1.5 meters per second squared. Wait a minute. Have I seen 125 meters before? Right here. Oh, I do have his time. Forgive me, ladies and gentlemen. I just made the classic mistake of not reading back. So do we have to do all this work, or can we just go 10 seconds and plug that in to find v-final? Well, we've already done it this way. So since I've done it the wrong way and too much work, let's finish it, because, yes. So 2 times 1.5 times 125, that's 3 times, so that should be 375 meters squared per second squared. I should have noticed that time earlier. It would be a much easier calculation. I hate this getting old. Now, I happen to know the square root of 400 is 20. All right. So, V initial is 20 meters a second. V final, we don't know, but we know acceleration displacement. So, plug the numbers in. I'm 
going to stop there. V final squared equals V initial squared plus 2AD. V final squared is, I don't know, but V initial is 20. 20 times 20 is 400. Now, 2 times 4 is minus 8. Minus 8 times 40, minus 320. So velocity final squared is 80 meters squared per second squared. Now, once again, I'm doing that kind of quickly. As I said, right now, I don't expect you to be copying this out. I expect you to be looking at this and understand what I'm doing. So velocity final is squared of 80. I just did it a minute ago. Oh, come on. Turn on. Yeah, square root of 80 is 8.94. I have it on my calculator because I just did this set of calculations, and then I hit the wrong button and deleted it instead of saving the recording. So I'm doing it again. Anyway, so its final velocity is 8.94 meters a second, 8.9, which is less than 50 kilometers an hour. So the answer is no. He will not get a ticket. He's probably going to need a brake job because he's done horrible things with routers, stopping that quickly. But he's not getting a ticket. All right? And this is actually a good example, learning from my error. There's more than one way to solve this. I completely forgot looking at part D times 10 seconds. If I'd known that, then velocity final is velocity initial plus a t. 5 times 0 meters a second. 1.5 meters per second squared times 10 seconds. That's 5 plus 15, which is 20 meters per second. And notice how much quick, how much easier that is than the v final squared minus v initial equals v initial squared. I hate this getting old, but anyway, good learning experience for you guys. There's almost always more than one way to do it. I'm trying to show you the quickest and easiest because I'm lazy. All right? Now, that's a lot of calculations, and now you get to practice them on the worksheet. So, please start in the homework. If you have a question, shoot me an email. Otherwise, good luck. I'll see you in class.